The best way to promote a healthy birth is to have a healthy pregnancy. A good diet is essential to the health of your baby. You should develop the right eating habits prior to your pregnancy to make sure that your child has access to the nutrients that they require for healthy development. It is also advised that you start taking vitamins such as folic acid a few weeks before conception. Begin to eliminate junk food, caffeine, and alcohol prior to getting pregnant. It is also advised that you begin to pay attention to the recommended servings of vegetables, fruit, grains, and meat. However, it is also important to remember that even though certain foods are considered healthy, you will need to eliminate them from your diet. This article will provide you with a comprehensive guide to the most effective prenatal and postnatal diet. When considering prenatal care and postnatal care, there are certain foods you will need to include in your diet, and there are certain foods you will need to remove from your diet. Here is a list of some of them. Whether you are pregnant or not, fruits and vegetables should be a regular part of your diet. Half of your plate should be filled with fruits and vegetables. They contain essential minerals and vitamins that will keep you and your baby healthy. They are also high in fiber, which will prevent constipation. Here's a list of fruits and vegetables you should consume on a daily basis. Apricots, oranges, pears, mangoes, pomegranates, guava, avocado, grapes, berries, bananas, apples, dried fruits, dark leafy greens, broccoli, beets, asparagus, bell peppers, green peas, summer squash, and parsley. Protein-rich foods are essential to the recovery process after childbirth. They help to keep the body strong. If you are underweight or under the age of 18 prior to pregnancy, you should consume more protein. Here is a list of protein-rich foods you should consume. Milk, cheese, yogurt, eggs, beans, soy, lean beef, pork tenderloin, and white meat. Drinking water during pregnancy helps women to cope with the demands of a change in body and keep you fit and healthy. Water is required to aid in digestion and to flush out toxins. Water ensures that the body is capable of absorbing the nutrients from the food we eat. It also assists in revitalizing and restoring the body. During pregnancy, there is even more demand on the body to maintain a healthy environment for the baby you are carrying. Water is also an important part of breast milk production. When the body does not get the water that it needs, it becomes dehydrated. In most cases, it can lead to health issues such as headaches, anxiety, constipation, fatigue, and dull skin. However, during pregnancy, if a woman becomes severely dehydrated, she can have a miscarriage. Some women have reported that drinking water at regular intervals during pregnancy helps to relieve the symptoms of heartburn, morning sickness, and indigestion. The World Health Organization recommends that pregnant women should drink at least 3 liters of water per day. A lot of women experience severe cravings during pregnancy. However, it is essential that you limit the amount of junk food that you consume. Foods such as cookies, french fries, burgers, potato chips, donuts, and soda will be of no benefit to you or your baby. Many women are afraid to exercise during pregnancy. However, it plays an important role in the health of you and your baby. Exercise during and after pregnancy will do the following. It will help you to lose pregnancy weight, reduce bloating, constipation, and back aches, help you sleep better, improve your posture, help strengthen the body and build muscle tone. You should engage in at least 20 minutes of mild exercise per day. You may want to take part in the following. Walking puts a limited amount of stress on the body. Once the baby is born, your child will enjoy being taken out for a walk in the stroller. A brisk walk for at least 20 minutes will assist in getting your heart rate up. Exercise classes are a fun way to keep fit and to meet new people, especially new mothers. You can also take part in classes that include your baby, such as mother and baby yoga classes. Be sure to follow the above advice consistently for your prenatal care and postnatal care. There are some foods that you need to completely eliminate from your diet. These are a few of them. Studies have found that caffeine passes through breast milk and can have a negative effect on the growth of your baby. Caffeine is not only found in coffee, it is also found in several soft drinks, chocolate, and medication that is bought over the counter. Alcohol will also pass through breast milk. It can harm your baby's body and brain development. Ordinarily, fish is good for you. However, there are certain fish that contain high levels of mercury that can harm the growth of your baby. Eliminate tilefish, shark, swordfish, and king macro from your diet. It is okay to consume tuna. However, you should stick to light tuna and eat up to 6 ounces per week. Thank you for watching this video from Mama Select. If you liked it, please subscribe below.
See you next time.